Meanwhile, an update now on the 14 children who were taken from the Pathways International Restoration Ministries of Montego Bay. They were placed in state care following a special sitting of the St. James Children's Court today. That was confirmed by State Minister for Youth Robert Morgan, who spoke with our news centre this afternoon. And at least one member of the congregation says she is shocked at the development. According to her, no one saw this coming. To prepare for the weekend service, the church members say they were told not to take their phones. But at least one church member says she was not prepared for what she saw. She's been a member of the church since 2014. As I saw the young man slash and I saw blood, the young lady fell. I said this is it for me and I walked away. I could not stay. I couldn't. I couldn't stay. I couldn't. I co and, and honestly, I have never seen, never expect this to happen. Never. Never. I don't know what has gotten into the leader, but I've n I mean, it is surprising to everybody. Part of that surprise, she argues, is because the pastor has been a caring man over the years. Helpfully help the members children who have problems financially to go to school, he would assist them and all of that. So um, it's really shocking now to see all this. She says there was no sign that anything like this would ever happen at the church. When I start to put one and one together, I saw two church members jump the fence. Two ladies, they jumped the fence. So I said, no, this can't be right. And those two persons are normally close to him. So um, I was wondering, when I tried calling one, I didn't get that person. So it's, it's very... So it was never announced that they were going to do any sacrifice? To no, ne but I mean, if it was announced, I wouldn't go. And I'm sure my children would not go. For this particular service, church members were told to wear white. Normally, ladies would wear white on the ladies' Sunday. And the men on their Sunday would wear black pants and white shirt. But otherwise, we would wear any, any color to church. But we were told to wear white. It, it's very sad to know that all of this happened. I mean, we, we, never, we never saw it coming. Never. Never. I mean, I, when I tell you, I ran leave my bag. In my bag was my house key, money, I mean, passport, ID, everything was in the bag and I left it and I go. I, I couldn't stay.